In today's video, we are going to be talking about Steph Curry right there and how he is able to split a screen. He is an amazing player when it comes to using screens and screens and rolls. So let's get down and let's check out how Steph Curry is able to do this. Okay, so in this clip, what we see is he receives that ball, and then from there, what he does is something that is genius. He does a quick fake towards that right side. Well, left side for him because he's facing this way, but right side for us. After that fake, he then pivots back around and takes a single dribble, like if he's about to use this player as a screen or pull up for a jump shot. He tends to have the same body formation whether he's doing either or. That now gets that player, his defender, to run towards him, which is genius. And of course, the way he looks, he brings that right arm up, which then gets this player to take a step towards him. Now, what Steph Curry does is genius. Instead of going up for that shot, what he does is he hesitates for a second, has that big negative step. He has both of these players running towards him. Their momentum is taking them in that direction. And then he pushes off of that left foot, dribbles one more time past those players, and then he dribbles once again. That secondary dribble is very important. If you were to dribble and then bring that ball over top, what's going to happen is this player could strip you. But by dribbling a second time very quickly and doing a crossover, that ball is now going in front of your body, which is the farthest possible distance away from both of these players. So after that secondary crossover, he then attacks the basket with two players behind him. He has another player coming down, this player, Pirtle, who's going to be coming in for a block, and then we have DeMar DeRozan who turns around as well. At this point in time, he could pass out to here or out to this player, but instead he goes up for that floater. And of course that floater does go in. This is all made possible by starting that first fake which gets that player off balance towards that right side. He, Steph Curry then takes one dribble and does a quick hesitation style move with a negative step. This then brings both of those players towards Steph Curry to block his shot. He then cross over between them and in front of his body and then at that time he attacks the basket and goes in for that floater. This is a fantastic move that we can all use as players. So what I want everyone to do right now is to try and figure out who are the best players in the position that you play. If you're a center, definitely be looking at Jokic or Shaq or other great players like that. If you're a forward, look at players like Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Kevin Durant, and those style players. If you're a guard, definitely be, definitely be looking at players like Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, and a like of those. The reason behind this is then you can look at their individual moves, their strategies that they use on the court whether they're using a screen and how they're using it, or if they are going up for a shot, look at their feet, look at how their footwork is being set up. And then try to imitate those moves, try to imitate those skills on the court yourself, try to imitate that footwork. Footwork is extremely important. If you want a really good footwork when it comes to basketball, definitely be, definitely be checking out Kevin, or Kevin Garnett is one, but definitely Kobe Bryant. These are all great ideas for you to take into your hands and then go onto YouTube and then really we're just working and checking out who the best are, how they're doing what they're doing, and then imitating those moves, that footwork and things like that. Because at that point, you will become a very good player. I hope that this video has helped you be able to split screens better. And of course, I'll see you guys again next time.